Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Little Women Atlanta Season 5, Episode 1. I don't have pictures. Um, you'll just, you just see the ones that's in my thumbnail. But that's about it. So, let's pick it up. Well, if you have not done so already, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and become a whole jaber. I can't y'all, my neck hurts. And it just it takes a lot to strain. Um, but become a whole jaber, okay? And all that good shit. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and share this video. And to always uh, follow me on Instagram. And all that good shit. So, um, episode one... I didn't realize until the end of the episode that the two two of the girls who was on last season ain't on this season. And it's the one chick who was pregnant, you know, and had a baby by two different dudes and was back and forth and up, whatever. And her good friend who was losing her hair, you know, them two girls ain't, I, I, don't, I know the one girl would do, they did do named Vaughn or something. They not on here this season. Well, at least they went on this episode. So they gone. Okay. And they brought in some other people. So, we do see the episode starts off with the twins, you know, Amanda and Andrea. And we see that Andrea says her parents have all three of her kids. Her parents have taken three of her kids for three months to give Andrea and Amanda time to work on tiny twin stuff. I'm like, but you can't make it in three months. And when you make and have shows and gigs, who can watch your kids? I, Andrea just don't be smart. I mean, girl, where's Chris? Where the daddy at? I just don't know. Anyway, I'm my girl just too much. Amanda is still engaged or whatever, and she is telling Andrea how, you know, she wants to get married first and then have kids. Meaning, you did shit the fuck that way. I ain't going to, I ain't doing it that way. Me and Jordan is going to get married, then children, because that's the way I want to do things. Um, Andrea's a little offended, but I'm like, girl, you should not have had kids with, with, with Chris anyway because he's not even a good man. Um, or he's not reliable. So, they also bring up how they don't have a manager still because I think Andrea fired, I, think, I can't remember which twin fired the last girl, but they fired the last manager and so they have to see who can manage them now. And so, they bring up, maybe Juicy can manage us and hopefully she's not mad at us because there was assholes at Juicy's last event last season. We then see all of them meet up or whatever. We see it was Juicy, Manny, Mon Moni, Money, and um, Andrea, and Amanda, the twins, meet up. And I'm like, why y'all meeting up outside in the heat? Like, it was like a little bike riding event. And then you, we seen Minnie and, no, was it Juicy? Juicy and Moni riding a little pulley cart thing where they in the back of the cart thing and somebody riding a bike pulling up. I don't know what it was. Anyway. Look, Juicy in her confessional, I don't know who wrote her script, but she practiced it too much. Juicy in her confessional, it's like a robot. And I know that we're supposed to do this, but what we had said was, I don't want to do this today. I'm like, you just, girl, no. It's, you, you just sound too rehearsed. So they all kind of play catch up. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Moni brings up how she's still going to court back and forth with her baby daddy who stays in, I think it's in Texas. And, you know, she's waiting here back from the judge to determine if her son can come move with her to to um, San Lanza. Now, she's been going back and forth since last season on that, too. So, I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy. The twins bring up how they want to sing still. And they want to do something with singing. Because they used to sing trap music when they was little. I said, how did you sing trap music? Girl... I said, okay, whatever. Juicy, like, you know what? Y'all are talented. I'm so happy that y'all are, you know what I'm saying, getting back into music and stuff. You are so talented. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got a meeting with the hottest producers from this music company. And I, you know, they want to meet with me, with me. And it's hard for them to meet someone. You know, they want to meet with me. I'm like, is Juicy really that big of a deal? I mean, I know her from Ricky Finally Morning Show. And, you know, Juicy's word of the day. I know that. But I'm like, what else does she do? Because I could be missing it. 
I could be missing it. So she tells the twins that she's going to mention to the producer people of this management music company about them. And honey, here got many. I don't like that shit. Mm -mm. I don't trust Juicy. All Juicy care about is Juicy. So it's, mm, I don't like they my friends. They my friends. I'm like, girl, cut it out. Anyway, we do see Minnie and the twins go shopping for kids for Andrea's ba and Andrea's baby. I'm like, them kids ain't with her. She don't need no more clothes. Give her some babysitting money. So Amanda brings up how she is not fully planning her wedding, mainly because her and Jordan have not talked about this. They got engaged, and they've been engaged for almost a year. So, you know, she's like, we ain't talking about it too much, but I don't plan on being married like for the long ass time like i'm not gonna be engaged to nobody for like five or six years mm, not no not me i want to get married married and so i'm like okay cool so we then see many bring up how she's been talking to pastor troy again i'm like oh lord jesus i wasn't watching the show when she was messing with him but i remember the reunion about it it was a big old thing or whatever so i'm like i don't want to bring no drama from past seasons because i don't want to go back and read or watch what happened to talk about it so she's like, even though me and him have a whole past or whatever, and how, you know, he, they showed a scene of him saying how, because she's like, you know, what's up with us in a relationship? I don't like labels. I'm like, see, he's an asshole. Anytime you messing with a man, if y'all bumping uglies, and he say, I don't like labels. We well, don't like me. And we can't, we can't bump uglies no more. Get away from me. Anyway, she says, like, he wants her, because he does, like, music or whatever, and he also has a podcast. And so he wants her to come in and do some work for his podcast and do like a little drop whatever it's like oh this is many you listen to pastor troy on fm no 98 or whatever and then she's like there's it's no it's no relationship stuff it's just you know the music stuff whatever she then brings up that she really wants to talk to him because she also wants to start her own podcast i'm like okay that is what it is you know what I'm saying? and they say well how you think many can feel not many how you think juicy gonna feel about you Doing a podcast. And she said, I don't give a fuck about, uh, <laughs> about Juicy. Fuck Juicy. Well, I'm paraphrasing. Fuck Juicy. I don't care. I got to worry about me. And I agree. Juicy don't have no stand hold, no pin hold, no pitch hold, no hold on podcasts. People do podcasts every day. I Last season, Juicy was upset because many wanted to do something in the same. I'm like, girl, you don't own that field. You, I, I don't know if she wants to be one of the one of the few or many or only little people to be in that field. You need to get over, girl. Get the fuck over it. Anyway, we do see her later on. She's gonna meet with Pastor Troy, and I'm like, they used to date. Okay, so you know she's sitting down. He's like, oh, you got your breast out or whatever. She had a little open in her shirt. And she was all smiling. He was all smiling. I'm like, I hope y'all don't start bumping uglies on this thing. Anyway, she do her little drop. This is many. Thank you for watching. I'm Pastor Troy on 107. I ain't got no money. Or whatever. And he's like, oh, you want to take somebody's job? Huh? You sound real, real good on there or whatever. And so she laughing. And she bring up like, well, you know, I want to do my own little show. Like my own, like a podcast? She's like, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about, about doing that. He's like, oh, okay, that'll be cool. Like, you know, in the beginning, sometimes it's hard to you know get out there and for people to listen you may want to think about getting you a co-host because it's easier to play off of someone else's conversation and i say that's smart that's really 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 smart i used to want to have me and someone else do my reviews and stuff to play off somebody but i'm like i talk to myself so <laughs> it's okay um or whatever so i like how he told her like how you know this is my suggestion that don't think it's so easy, and this may be a way for you to get it in the dough quicker. Okay, in the dough quicker. So, um, she suggests him, and he was like, "What? Nah, nah, nah." The last time when you used to try to collaborate, we almost had a son. I'm like, "Oh, here we go." Now I know it was a big thing about her lying about being pregnant. So I'm like, "Don't let's not go. Let's not go back there." So we do see her meet up with Andrea. Later in the episode, and she goes look at spaces to do the podcast. And you know what I'm saying? She like does a little, a little one minute recording. Oh, hey, I, this is Juicy. I have Andrea here today or whatever. Andrea, what's your, you know, advice for someone who wants to get into, you know, the entertainment? Oh, you know, just have a good time. And I'm like, that's it. 
that's it. I mean, she has a good voice or whatever, but I'm like, I wasn't enter- like it was. I wasn't entertained. But I guess the first time was never really that good. But I think if she keeps at it, you know, anything is possible. So she then say, I feel like if Juicy can do it, I can do it too. That's sometime how it be. I told y'all the reason I started my my YouTube was because I was watching Funky Dineva. I was watching Two Little Families or whatever. I'm like, if they can do it, I can do it too. But you have to do it in your own way. You can't do it how someone else does it. Okay? You have to have your own spin on it or whatever. So we then see from there, Juicy goes to meet with these two producer dudes from this music company. And my neck hurts so bad, y'all. I want to. I was. I just want to put. <laughs> I just want to hold my head <laughs> for a training, and I can't get into my doctor until um Thursday. Anyway, so I'm I'm very very stiff right now, y'all. I'm very very stiff, and this side of my wait no, this side of my I had to think about it. This side of my because you know it's a backer thing. This side of my neck and ch- it's just all fucked up. Anyway, Juicy Gold to see is they call G C and Al at this music group thing and they do like tours and so and like they work for like real people. So they say they have a tour coming up or whatever, they need some opening acts and they wanna know if she has any. I'm like, if y'all a real tour company, y'all went to Juicy, like does Juicy really manage anybody? It's the it's the it's the reason why we think like reality shows is fake as fuck. But I'm looking like if y'all are a real credible music group who've done all these other tours y'all going to juicy to see if she has any any acts for the role i'm like y- y'all do you know anybody from vh1 like loving hip-hop no okay and because rich got 18 18 fake acts that he can put on tour so you know she brings up how she has a few acts that she can put up she's i have the tiny twins and also left cheek and right cheek i'm like left cheek and right cheek uh, i think when they were on the show again i wasn't watching it back then but she brings up how Left Cheek and Right Cheek has 16 million views. Now, Left Cheek and Right Cheek is these two girls. I believe they're white. I just know they're not black. I'm going to say white. And they, like, rap talk a little bit or whatever. The, the part I heard on the they show, I'm like, like, this sounds horrible. But it has 16 million views. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, who knows? Anyway, she feels like they would be great for a tour they're ready for war they get the people hype it can be amazing 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 and then the one dude i think the one dude um al he like i don't know about that like i don't know you know how anyone gonna get past the fact that they're little people like you know what i'm saying we want to be entertained like we don't want to be a circus say oh don't say the word circus you cannot say that if a little person is performing it's like a circus that's like an insult but, you know, some people just don't know. Anyway, you know, she like, say what? Well, first of all, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to get over, you don't have to get over the fact that they're little people. They are, and they are entertaining. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, he like, you think they can really like hang with like major acts and, and artists? And she said, I do. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we have to just see what happens. So, he say, well, I'm going to let you talk to GC. Because he more open-minded than me. I say, well, GC looks cuter. So that made his his mind is open. Anyway, you know, she later meet up with GC, who tell her that she's the hardest working woman in showbiz. I say, is she? But what does she do? Like, I don't know what Miss Juicy does. If someone can tell me, I would appreciate it. Anyway, and whatever she do, is she the hardest working woman in showbiz? I don't think she's the hardest one. You know, she still brings up how, you know, the Tiny Twins have never been in a studio but they have been on stage, they have danced, they did this and did that. And I'm like, if they've never been in the studio, like, where do they make music at? I'm just confused. I mean, are they going to go on stage and just dance and twerk? Or actually, like, put on a show? I'm confused. So, um, she has not really managing them. And this GC do like, what do you think I can, like, meet them? Like, we can get things popping or whatever. And she's like, no, I'll set something up. But I'm like, you know, I, why are you out here, you know what I'm saying, trying to work for me, but you don't work for me? I don't know. So we do see a little scene where Money hears back from a lawyer. And he tells her that, unfortunately, the judge has determined that it's not wise to uproot her son and have her move from one state 
to the other. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. And she, of course, starts crying. She's very, very upset. Like, did you tell him that he needs his mom? And he like, yes. But, you know, the judge thinks the best thing for him is to stay where he at because he's stable right now to move him will kind of you know it would change everything up and she's also sad and she's crying i feel like money should have been left and went back to, to texas i feel like you should not have tried to make him move with you because he told you he didn't want to go and he do have a stable life there and i think i think it's texas and if he came to atlanta it would just strictly be you there you know what i'm saying but well but i feel like she wanted him to come there because it could have been a part of her storyline. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I completely get it. So we see that whole thing. We do see Juicy, who's on the video call with left cheek, left cheek and right cheek. I don't know what their names are. But when they showed them and they said, oh, that's like, I think one girl named maybe, maybe was Bree. And they said, oh, like, that's left cheek. And the other one was like, I'm like, oh, so like one of them is really left and one of them is really right. It made me laugh. Like, me and Shannon at work, we call ourselves the Oracles. Like, when people call us the Oracles. And so, we don't have, like, Oracle 1 or Oracle 2 or Oracle A or Oracle B. We just the Oracles. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I felt like left cheek and right cheek was just a group. And, like, it wasn't like one was... Because, like, does that mean they don't have the other cheek? I don't want to be left cheek. Because what about my right cheek? You know what I'm saying? But I digress. So, you know, she tells them, I got this... Tour potential uh, situation, and you know, they're looking for some opening acts. Would y'all feel, would y'all be able to move here or come here to discuss this or whatever? Because it may be an opportunity. Um, doing it just tour because they need opening acts. And they say, you know what I'm saying, if it's about their career and it's going to help them, they are open to it. They're going to plan to come to Atlanta. Now, Juicy don't manage them either. <laughs> but she's still speaking on their behalf. So I said, okay, you say so. We do see Amanda talking to Jordan. Basically like, look, bruh, why we ain't talk about this wedding? He like, man, you, you stressing too much. Like, you're doing too much. Like, I don't want to leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? I don't want. She's like, no. I want to be married in three months in Texas in this barn at 4 p.m. under the sunlight in a white dress. She's, but I'm adding on stuff. But she did say three months in Texas. And then he like, well, I don't want to get married in three months. I'm saying you keep bringing up your career and how you want to do this and do that or whatever about your career. Like, how are you going to plan a wedding in three months and do your career stuff? And she said, I can do both. I'm going to do, I'm going to find a way to do both. Okay. I love you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And I want to have kids and be married. I just want to be with you. And he's like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Let's get married in three months this summer. And then she's happy because she's like, okay, you know, what I want, he's, uh, he's he wants it too. And I ain't got to be fussing, fighting, arguing about this because we've been engaged for a whole year. Like, let's get this wedding on so we can have um, protective sex and then I can get pregnant. So we then see Juicy has a meeting with the twins, see what I'm saying, Andrea and Amanda. And she gives them the same spiel. She gave left cheek and right cheek. I have this tour possibility with this company or whatever they need some opening acts would y'all be open to doing it i know y'all have not been in the studio i could on the studio she's feeding them all this you know what i'm saying yeah take it take it take, take it take all this i'm looking like but is it true is it true can she really get them what she's saying i don't know because she don't manage them and the dudes are saying like it's not a for sure thing they just want to see if they'll be good so, again, she then, oh, yeah, we would love that. Oh, my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. She then said, well, can I work as y'all manager? You know what I'm saying? To get y'all the best deal, the best situation. And they say, of course. Yay. Yay. Be right back. So, she then invite them to a bribe you at her house. But she don't tell them that left cheek and right cheek is coming, too. So, we then see Juicy and Moni have a conversation. Um, Juicy tells her about the whole left cheek, right cheek thing. And about how she had not told the twins yet about left cheek and right cheek coming. Left cheek and right cheek got into a fight with the tiny twins a couple seasons ago. And I think they have not been on the show since. They, like, left and moved out of town. Out of the states. And so, they have, like, beef or whatever. So, she's like, you know, I, I'm going to have to, like, try to see if they can both, like, be in the same place. And get along. And money say, I'm sad I won't be around to like see the fireworks. What you mean not around? What you going about? So money then tell Juicy, you know, sit down, Juicy, sit down. 
So I'm moving back to Houston. She's like, oh, what's going on? So tears, she's crying. I'm saying, well, you know, I've been going back and forth with my lawyer or whatever, and I lost my court case. You know, my son can't move here. And, you know what I'm saying, I have to move back to Atlanta, I mean, to to Houston to be with my son because, you know what I'm saying, I just have to do that. She brings up how, you know what I'm saying, I'm so sad to leave, to, to leave all my friends, but this has to be done or whatever. And so, do say she, they're going to send her, have like, give her a going away party. Okay. So, we then see at Juicy's house, they had a little barbecue or whatever. Um, the ladies all come over. They all ha, 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 kiki, ki, ki, laugh, laugh, laugh. And, you know, they bring up how, no, Juicy brings up how she wanted to have the barbecue to see if the twins and the cheeks, they really call it left cheek and right cheek, the cheeks. So, you have the twins and the cheeks to see if the twins <laughs> and the cheeks can get along without fussing or fighting or whatever. But again, no one knows the cheeks are coming except money. No, except Juicy. Confusing. Anyway, we then see Amanda bring up how she finally set, set a wedding date and how the wedding's going to be in three months or whatever. Now, Andrea in her confession was like, I can't believe this. Like, we have three months to get stuff off with our career. You know what I'm saying? Why would she want to waste time and be so, you know, caught up in the wedding? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you have birthed three children. And every time you birth them three children, y'all career got put on hold. Now, you done birthed the last, the third one, gave the damn kids to your parents. And now, because you don't have no baby in your, in your oven, you want to make it seem as if she's wrong for wanting to get married. Girl, be fucked by. Mm -mm. You you held up your career, your career longer than she has. Okay, because every time she wanted to do more stuff, you couldn't. You want you want to why? Because you were pregnant. So the same way you feel like she would put Chris in the wedding above your career, you not Chris Jordan. You put Chris and them kids ahead of your career for the past two three years. Girl, the fuck back. Mm, not that bullshit. Not with the bullshit. Okay. So, Money then says how, you know, she got something to tell them, and I have to move back to Houston, you know what I'm saying? And I have to be there because my son can't come here, and you know what I'm saying? She, what I like that she said, she said, you know, at the end of the day, I just want to be a mom, and I want my son. I'm tired of, she said, I'm tired of not being around my son. And she was crying, and they was crying. It was a wonderful moment. Um, again, I felt like she should have been left and went back. But, you know what I'm saying, it took some time. She brings up how one day she hopes to be able to come back to Atlanta with her son. Because her son is, like, a teenager. So, I mean, until he's, like, and once he's out of, like, high school, you know, she can move around with, with him or whatnot. But right now, he's just stable there. Um, she's like, you know, I, just, I have to move. You know, I have to be there for him. You know, and I, that's what you do as a parent. You know what I'm saying? And I get that she came to Atlanta to try to get a better footing to get her you know f her finances right and to get a career and I feel like she maybe she's more financially stable than she was you know now she's married her husband makes some money so you know I guess you know it is what it is anyway so as they talking and hugging or whatever who walks in the cheeks the left cheek the right cheek and it was all like what the fuck is they doing you're like what the fuck going on and they just walked up and sat down and <laughs> Juicy was like oh so you know like some <laughs> <laughs> surprise bitch uh and like this is awkward and they kind of sit down or whatever um we're back and we're not leaving i'm like if your flight leaves you have to leave too honey anyway and that was the whole episode so i hope y'all enjoyed my review of little women atlanta season five episode one i hope the rest of the season gets better this little opener wasn't all that to me so you know it was what it was. Anyway, I am Jay Lee. This is Jaylee's Corner. Peace. He's like love, 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 and you.